also Andrew lives on a yacht on the Norfolk Broads a nice little inland waterway in East Anglia You're living without the tedium of house life cramping your freedom. You can dwell where you wish in the median. You can turn left or turn right. Choose where you sleep on any given night. Completely secluded, you're out of sight. Bills to a minimum, <laughs> that's time. Is that Andrew? I think it is. Morning. Hello, Your Lordship. How are you? Oh, rather splendid indeed. Yeah, good, good, good. Welcome to the Fairy House. <laughs> yeah, so we're going up the boat ride in a little while. Boat ride? Oh, oh, cozy. In the corner, by the yeah. Nice. Would you like the the single chair or the oh, pew? We'll be doing a tour of that boat later. Yes. Covid theatre curtain. <sighs> I guess they don't want to take it down because in no time at all, they'll be coming up with another one. How confident are you that we, as a global community, will deal with the next pandemic better? You can read more about this in my new book, How to Prevent the Next Pandemic. Tea, Earl Grey, hot, naturally. Yeah, that's that's rock hard. So there is a low-tech solution is you wrap up the butter and Andrew has already guessed my next move because he's clearly a veteran of such arts he is under the armpit. Check there's no greasy patches on the outside under the armpit. This has gone very well indeed. Oh, no. Large and a standard. Large. Wow. And a standard view. Wow. Would you like any more toast or you like the next? So, before the main course, the hors d'oeuvre is marmalade on toast. This breakfast is spot on. Oh, yeah, definitely. So, check that out. Andrew's finished his massive breakfast. Right, left the mushroom. Oh. Oh, I just left a bit of skin and rind on mine, and that's it. Done. Done. Right, you ready? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I painted it. Look at that old boy. Now it could be a new engine. Still want to yeah. just I've got my wallet. Can you <laughs> Andrew is actually a top bloke, even though he's Cornish. Yes, Cornish. I'm definitely not Norfolk, I'm Cornish. Oh you're beautiful, oh you're beautiful. You're moving in for a cuddle. Oh yes. Andrew's such a geezer. He bought me breakfast. I really did explore this bog with gay abandon. Time to get down to business. Hee <laughs> hee. Caught it. <laughs> Finally wash my face. Oh, 
You know what time it is by now. Every time. Right, Andrew, let's check out some boat life. Can I step onto a rocking boat Without whilst filming with one hand and not fall in? <laughs> yeah, go for Thanks, it. Man. Oh, hey. oh. I can't actually see it. Oh, I grabbed hold of your spinnaker there. Let's just wipe our muddy footprints off the deck. I don't know why it's muddy footprints. I'm sitting down there. I'm sitting down. Andrew's just uh, removing the sun lounger from the patio. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, you have to get your sea legs back pretty quick when you're a landlubber. <laughs> oh, he's towing his dinghy. You've got a dinghy. Oh, yeah. ah. And is that a hitch of some kind? Is there a name for it? No, it's no, a it's thumb just, knot. It's just a knot. It's a granny knot yes. with, with a, a shoelace bow. Oh, God. <laughs> Prepare for undocking, Captain. And I am cast away now. Will and will Andrew get on the boat before I am adrift? Helplessly marooned on the freezing Norfolk broads in late November. <laughs> there, and he's on. We're going in the wrong direction. Uh, we, we're going backwards. Oh, there's some trip hazards here. There's ropes and slippery little yeah, boys. Before we get too adrift, let's start the engine while well, people can still reach us. <laughs> reliable <laughs> engine. Yeah. No problem with that. Good. We're underway. Pub now distant. Oh, oh, wax on lyrical poet. <laughs> they will be pulling about 3.4 knots at the moment. Thumbnail. Three point two knots. Fit that up before starting work. What the camera? Alright. Yeah. Right. Are you filming this? No, I haven't got it turned on.
Well, I hope you enjoyed that musical interlude. And now it's time for Andrew to consider mooring options. And we're in the mooring. We are. Our land lovers. Oh, I thought that was going to be difficult. No, easy, easy, easy. Brilliant. Thanks, Andrew. Right, no problem. I'm just going to put a little boy on again. You got little boys in there, have you? Uh, yeah. Batten down the hatches, Captain. Tide and thunder water. Wow. It's amazing when you see places like this in their natural state how the Stone Age people, our ancestors, uh, if you're white and British, actually uh, managed to conquer this land and colonize it. It's just such a swampy mess. I mean, this is how they did it, of course. They they built wooden bridges and walkways across it. Natural habitat. This is what the rivers. Yeah. Like. These yeah. are called fens. Yeah. And uh, this is how they <laughs> conquered the fens. And thank you for watching uh, this video. Have a look at other parts of the broads and fens that I visited. There, there there and subscribe to me there and uh, I'll see you in the next episode uh, which might even be a continuation of what's happening today ta-da there you go